Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In this lab experiment, we will determine the density of solids and liquids. We extend our sincere gratitude to Cambridge International Assessment Education for their invaluable contribution to the creation of this compelling video content, which promises to enlighten and inspire curious minds around the world. In this experiment, the density of an irregularly shaped object, a bolt and cooking oil are going to be calculated. To calculate the density of our bolt, two values are needed, its mass and its volume. The bolt is placed on the balance and its mass is recorded. Next, the displacement beaker is filled to the spout with water. An empty beaker should be placed underneath the spout. The bolt is gently dropped into the displacement beaker. This displaces the water which will be collected in the empty beaker. This volume of water is used to determine the density of the bolt. The displaced water is poured into a measuring cylinder and the volume is recorded. Density is calculated using this equation. Density is equal to mass divided by its volume. Density is represented by the Greek letter rho. The mass of the bolt was 54.25 grams and its volume was 9 centimeter cubed. This gives a density of 6 gram per centimeter cubed. To look at how to calculate the density of a liquid, cooking oil will be used as an example. An empty beaker is placed on a balance which is set to zero by pressing the zero or tear button. A known volume of cooking oil is measured out. In this experiment, 30 cm cubed of cooking oil is added to the beaker on the balance. The mass of the liquid is recorded. The same equation is used to calculate the density of oil. Density equals mass over volume. The volume of oil used was 30 cm cubed and the mass recorded was 26.44 grams. This gives a density of 0.881 grams per cm cubed. Density is calculated using this equation. Mass divided by volume and has the unit grams per centimeter cubed. Other experiments could be tried using irregular shaped objects and liquids to create a table of solid and liquid densities. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.